and welcome back to our program. Linnell Fabian is with us now. She is the Director of Community Engagement for Friends of Caroline. Nice to see you again. Thanks for having yes. me. So for those that might not know really what you all are all about and the services you provide your clients, mm -hmm. would you share first? Sure. Friends of Caroline offers palliative care, hospice care, and grief support to the entire community, regardless of their ability to pay. And uh, we've been doing this since 1977. Mm. And now you've got a big event, a big fundraiser, mm -hmm. and it is called Release and Remember. Yes. Right? And it has to do with butterflies. Mm -hmm. And you said it's your second year using the butterflies yes. as a way to remember a loved one. So mm -hmm. you want to share? Yes. Um, so we have been doing a memorial service with mm -hmm. the families of our patients who have passed every year. And at the end of the service, we would release butterflies. And they love it. And um, we've done this with our student bereavement program at Camp Caroline, the end of Camp Caroline. The children do it too. And once we realized everybody of all ages love it, we decided to just do it with the entire community and offer everybody an opportunity to celebrate the memory of someone, someone they, love. they love. And um, and we'll release 1,000 butterflies in Waterfront Park. Now, are the butterflies, obviously they are organic or whatever, so I, I, they're not real. They're real. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe they were plastic or something. No, they're real butterflies. Oh, oh wow. mm -hmm. so how do you... Tell me how you do that. So we order from a butterfly farm okay. and they send them to us. They are frozen and we take them out and give them time to wake up. And really? by the time we do our service and open and our envelopes, everybody will have their own butterfly and they'll open it up and it will fly. And the butterfly flies away? Mm-hmm. Some that is the most little, amazing thing. <laughs> some take a little more time, a little more time to wake up than others, yes. but eventually they get up and fly away. That is so cool. It's beautiful. Cool. It's beautiful. I bet it's mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. We need to cover that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's going to be on April 30th at 11 o'clock, and it's going to be at Waterfront Park. Review for us kind of how the program's going to roll out. So at about 10.30, we'll start handing out the butterflies. So anyone who has okay. gone to our website okay. at fochospice.org or called our office, 843-525-6257, they can purchase a butterfly in someone's memory for only $10. Okay. And we have in memory signs out there, so everybody's name will be listed. 10.30, we'll hand out butterflies. 11 o'clock, our service starts. And our chaplain says a few words. Mm -hmm. We have a local student do a reading. Nice. And then Elaine Lake, um, one of Beaufort's favorite entertainers, will be performing a song. And at some point during her performance, we'll release the butterflies. Oh, so it all takes about 30 minutes. And, oh, and we're fun. Done. And that's a Saturday, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We were talking earlier. We have just a few minutes left. Uh, your new location. You're about ready to move. Yes. Yeah, so you wanted to share with the viewers where yeah, you're going sure. to be and, and just mm -hmm. how exciting this is. So Caroline's Cottage will be opening yes. soon. Uh, we are going to be located on Highway 170 next to John Paul II Catholic School. Mm -hmm. And we are nearing the completion of construction right now. By the time we do all of our licensures and all of our inspections, we hope to be accepting new patients by June. And so we'll be packing up soon and getting ready to move and um, and wait for inspection. And, and it, you said it's on 11 acres. There. Oh, uh, we owned 11 acres of that property. When you drive by 170, um, it looks like a construction site. Yeah. Um, but if you were to drive back there, you would see our new building. And yes. there's an ad administrative wing, a patient wing. Okay. And um, it's beautiful. We can't wait to, oh. to, to be there. And this is really a need for the community to have yeah. an inpatient facility and we're um, it's our honor to be able to provide that oh that's great we've been talking about it for a while yes. so I'm so glad it's and we happening. broke ground April 27th of last year so oh, that's that's pretty quick mm -hmm. actually yeah all right so again we have the release and remember event which is mm -hmm. going to be in April the 30th and thank you Linnell for being with us and thank you all for joining us for this edition of North of the Broad and we'll see you next time everyone